Hey guys, so today we're switching things up a little bit. I'm not gonna be teaching you any pole tricks, but I am gonna be breaking down a super fun and sexy low flow routine. If you don't know what low flow is, it's a more seductive and sexy style of pole dancing. It incorporates a lot of floor work and typically you only use the bottom third portion of your pole. But because it's beginner, I am gonna be doing a lot of moves that are standing as well. Don't get it twisted. Just because we're not doing pole tricks doesn't mean we're not gonna get a good workout in. Once if there are any moves that you don't know or that you're not familiar with in this low flow sequence, I definitely recommend downloading the Fit to Flaunt app where I break everything down. Let's get started. We're gonna start off facing our pole. We're gonna have our outside leg extended and we're gonna bend the inside knee. Hand on your thigh and you're gonna do two or three sexy body rolls. It really depends on whatever song you're dancing to. So we're gonna roll it, make it nice and sexy. Remember to incorporate your chest. Think about making nice big circles with your chest. Perfect. From here, we're gonna step back Extend that other leg and we're going into our swivels. So when you do your swivel, think about sticking the booty out and you're literally just swaying the hips side to side. But what makes it sexy is that you want to exaggerate the turn. Turn as much as you can before twisting to the other side. As much as you can and then twist to the other side. Perfect, now we're gonna add a shotgun I'm going to step forward with my right foot and I'm going to grab with my right hand cup grip, but it's going around the pole. My opposite hand is also in cup grip, but it's going on top. What I'm going to do now is keep my left leg extended and I'm going to swing it behind me, step on the left foot, then I'm going to step with my right foot, then I'm going to bring the right foot back again. I know this seems like a lot of steps. So let's see it again in slow motion. Perfect. So if you need to take a small step forward, lower both hands. We're going into one sexy body roll, dropping the hips completely. From here, I'm gonna bring my right knee down to the ground, extend my left leg, and I wanna make sure that my left foot stays on the ground the whole time. I'll show you what it looks like if you lift your left foot off the floor. It won't look as graceful or as sexy. Another thing you wanna keep in mind is that the momentum from the left leg and swinging it around is what's helping you to get the momentum you need to land where you need to. From here, we're adding our sexy body rolls. Remember, I always encourage you to make it your own style. Maybe you wanna have one hand back and do your body rolls. Maybe you wanna caress your body when you do your body rolls. It's completely up to you. Maybe you wanna add a booty jump instead of body rolls. Trust me, everything is gonna look great no matter what you do. So from here, we're gonna grab the pole with the left hand. I'm gonna place my right hand down. I'm gonna extend my left leg so that I can bring my right hip down to the ground. Now we're gonna go into what we call the tray hand. So I'm gonna take my right hand now and I'm placing it on the pole like I'm holding a tray. The pole is going between my thumb and the rest of my fingers. I'm going to use this hand to give me the momentum that I need as I swing my left leg around to land where I need to. From here, I'm bringing it up and I'm adding some more hip circles, making it nice and sexy, making it your own style. Now this is where it gets a little tricky because we're adding a head roll. So you have to work on the timing. If you don't do the right timing, ladies, you're gonna look like this. <laughs> trying to make it sexy. So from here, what we wanna do first is extend the leg. Then I'm gonna bring my right ear to my right shoulder so that I can swoop my head down and around as I turn. Let's see that again in slow motion. Mm -hmm. 
As you can see, both of my feet stay on the ground the whole time. From here, we're going to push back, extend that left leg, and turn away from the pole. Now we're gonna do our knee spin. So we're gonna bring both knees together, spin, I'm grabbing the pole with that left outside hand first with my thumb pointing down, placing the back of my hand on the pole, going into a wrist roll, pushing my hips up for my diamond, landing on that right knee and bringing my left foot around. Once you're in this position, we're gonna do the swoop around, so I'm bringing that right leg through, left hand on the floor, bam, tossing the hair. Now we're adding some more of our own individual flavor. Add your body rolls, booty claps, hip circles, whatever it is that you'd like. We're gonna extend that inside arm. Stepping with my inside foot, I'm going right into my dip. So I'm grabbing, going into a dip, and going right into a wrist roll, bending that left leg and landing. From here, I'm extending my right leg, bringing it up, crossing. Now, I'm going to bring my right leg between my left leg and the pole, grab with my right hand, turning away.